quick tutorial on how to use the live trace tool in Adobe Illustrator CS4 and um, this this feature is very very awesome um, I use it whenever I can uh, since I'm not a very good artist I grab clip art from Google Images and uh, I live trace it and I can make a vector out of it most of the reasons you want to make it a vector is because you can scale the image to whatever you would like without even losing uh, any kind of kind of quality and um, that's a huge plus because if you're creating huge posters it'll have great looking quality and you won't have to remake it um, so let's dive right into this first thing I want to say is be careful of what you're choosing for um, bat or for kind of images that you're trying to live trace because when you choose an image that is very uh, detailed Usually, live tracing won't come out very well. Uh, it'll always pick up some strand things, and some things won't show up, and it won't even look like the original um, image. So, as you can see, uh, you can pull your image into Illustrator, uh, click on the actual image, and then you can click Live Trace right here in the button right here, or you can drop down from the box and go to Tracing Options, and I'm going to choose that and go to Preview. And uh, most of the time, you want to play with the uh, threshold, like I am here. And I already found out previously that my sweet spot for a threshold would be 109. Because um, I have a, a, actually a pretty much a very accurate trace of the image that was there. And all the threshold does is show that basically... Uh, changes what's going on in the uh, actual image. If you have the threshold all the way up, you can see the image is really nothing that you can work with. And then if you bring it all the way down, it's actually just like three black spots. So play around with that and find your sweet spot. I'm going to go to my sweet spot here. And I'm going to click Trace. Once when you click Trace, uh, click Expand. Um, you're always going to expand because just expanding is a lot easier. Um, it's just you can actually add colors, edit the image if you would like, and so on and so forth. So, um, first thing you're probably going to want to do after you expand the image is ungroup it, Command Shift G, because um, ungrouping it, ungrouping will allow you to edit certain parts of it, like the arm or the hand and the snout, the tail, knee and uh, so on and so forth so I'm just gonna grab these parts here and I'm gonna change the color to a fairly good looking green I'm gonna save that gradient swatch and uh, as you can see, you can go through and just add different colors, etc. But the one thing I wanted to really go over was um, taking out like copyrights and stuff from photos. Um, the best way I found to do this right now in Illustrator, uh, there's a better way to do it in Photoshop. But in Illustrator, just go over it with a pen tool and do the best you can just to outline it. And... As you can see, you cover it right up, then you can change your color to black or whatever color the background is, and then bam, it's gone. You can do that for the other side too. There you go, your copyright is gone. And you can change other things to different colors and make it look better. And you can really make uh, the, the picture pop. You can add your own little effects to it. And. Um, do whatever you'd like with it. Uh, as you can see in my background, I actually did it, and um, I made a, a gator dunking, and that's our school mascot is a gator. So I made a background, and I was bored, so I decided to show you guys how to actually live trace effectively. Uh, thanks for watching.